Welcome back, Video Game Votary Vanguard. It's your boy, Peace City Substance. This is another episode of the Video Game Votary. So, uh, if you guys watched my first episode, I basically discussed the premise and theory behind this channel, what my objectives, uh, my objective was, or my goals, and stuff like that. And one of the things I mentioned in that first episode, uh, you can go back um, through the channel, click on that, and watch it. Um, <clears throat> I was talking about how I wanted to venture off into PC gaming. That's one avenue of gaming that I didn't, I never really experienced outside of maybe a couple minutes here and there, you know, at a display or something like that. But I never really hardcore uh, did PC gaming, never had a PC. So, you know, it's been a little while, I've been looking, and, you know, we had some sales coming up. So, let's just say I made a purchase. So, um, let me start off by saying before I get into what I got, um, I don't know a whole lot per se about PC as far as I do understand uh, about graphics cards and RAM and stuff like that just by talking to some friends and stuff and basically how that works. So I did get a little bit of knowledge about it, but I don't know what's what and what's good. So, um, of course, I could have went to uh, Micro Center and they could have custom built me one. But um, I can be impatient at times, too. <laughs> so, needless to say, I was in a Best Buy. And, you know, what one person recommended to me was, look at which games you would like to play and look at their system requirements, you know, as far as how much RAM and stuff like that. And even on Twitch, when you look on there as far as what is required to stream, you also need to have a, a strong enough computer. Now, I had an all-in-one um HP uh, desktop that I was using that just couldn't handle uh, streaming even with the capture card it was lagging and slow couldn't keep up so I said well this is my opportunity and to justify to myself to go and spend this big money to get this gaming PC but I also needed to you know run my channel and also stream gameplay so it was important so I decided yeah this is the time to do it so when I ended up getting I went in the Best Buy. There's a store behind it. Let me get to that. So I went in Best Buy in Glen Burnie, Maryland. I went in the store. I'm looking through, looking at RAM, looking for prices. I'm basically trying to get the best bang for my buck. Again, we still being budget friendly. We're not going crazy out here and spending all kinds of money. We still want to be uh, budget minded. I came across something online. It was made by, I think, uh, Cyber PC. It was on sale for five hundred dollars or something like that and i said well you know it had the bare minimum specs i said well you know that doesn't seem too bad so i go out there i'm inquiring about it got to talking to him and god was like you know if you look in the game you want to take a step above and he made perfect it made perfect sense you want to get the bare minimum and then you know a couple years later you got to upgrade or something like that and i also wanted to keep in mind that Whatever I get, I want to be able to upgrade later, you know, as time goes by, better graphics card, things of that nature. So, uh, I ended up picking up a uh, uh, Cyber PC. Um, so, I get it home. I hadn't unboxed it yet. I was still doing research and stuff like that. And I was waiting until the weekend when I got spare time to unbox it and get it started up, stuff like that. So, um I was looking, of course, I wanted to run multiple monitors. I had this vision of how I wanted basically my workstation to look. And I happened to go by another Best Buy to ask some questions about uh, cables and the connections in the back because I unboxed it and looked at the connections in the back and it had, uh, I think, DVI, a display port, and HDMI. So I was like, okay, well, you know, I was asking about how many ports it is because I was unsure. Uh, what was what because they were saying certain places on uh, gaming PC the ports for USB and um, HDMI and stuff like that are part of the graphics card and I was saying how I only had like two ports on the back of the, the PC that I bought and he pulled up the model I showed him the model what I bought he was like this PC does not have a graphics card I'm like what do you mean I was like why would he sell why would this person sell me this the salesperson sell me this PC when I said specifically I wanted to stream gameplay and I wanted the game online. He said, I'm, I'm not sure, but this doesn't even have a graphics card. So I'm like, okay, well, we're in here. This was only a couple of days ago. What do you recommend in your store? And one computer I always noticed was the Omen. 
Now, this one I thought was, this was the most expensive one that I've seen multiple times going in Walmart and Best Buy. So I thought it was pretty good. So I inquired about it. It was like $1,300. And guy was like, oh, you know, I mean, it's pretty good. He said, but, you know, this one over here is on sale. It's cheaper, and it actually has the newest graphics card to date. So I said, okay, I'm going to bring that back, and I'm going uh, to pick this one up. So basically what I ended up getting was the Cyber PC GMA 3200 BST Gamer Master Series AMD Edition. And let me tell you, I'm super happy about it. Um, I just got a piece of the box. I'm reading off of that because I don't know it by heart. Um, basically, that came with Windows 10 Home, AMD Ryzen 7 2700, 3.7 gigahertz CPU, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 memory, NVIDIA RTX 2070, 8 gigabytes, 240 gigabytes solid state drive, and a 2 terabyte uh, hard drive, which is excellent. Um, they have the RGB fan and lighting, so it's multiple cooling fans on there with lights. And the side is a uh, tamper-proof glass. It's super awesome. It looks official. I'm super happy about it. Also came with a uh, a lighted uh, gaming. Well, not lighted, but it came with a gaming keyboard and gaming mouse. And man, let me tell you, this was some of the best money I spent. I'm super happy about it. Um, it's super fast. Um, it looks super cool to look at. I'm going to do a video where you guys can see my workstation and stuff like that later on but you know you turn it on you got the fans going you see the light you can see everything inside the computer which i guess that's that's like the thing now when i'm seeing especially like what i saw back in magfest if you go back to my magfest i was in the land room which i helped set up you go back in that video you check that out um that's on the video game voting page and just looking at the way that pc or my pc set up with the the fans live the LEDs. It's super awesome. It came with a remote. You could change the colors, have it do multiple colors. It's it's just something. It's it's very nice to see and be able to see with the tamper proof glass. See inside, which when you look inside, it's really not a whole lot to a computer. I still wouldn't be the one to be taking it apart, but to each his own. Some people like that, and maybe you know someday I would. But uh, I'm super happy about it. It's more than enough. I was excited about the fact that it was the newest graphics card. Um, and so far, what I've ran on it has been, uh, of course, Fortnite is free, so I downloaded that right away. And just recently, I downloaded uh, Steam. I created a Steam account, and I downloaded H1Z1, which take it's going to take some time to get used to that. So um, it's also going to take time to get used to um, gaming on the PC. Now, <clears throat> people say, why so? You know, my son, my oldest son, he's 10. He's telling me, well, Dad, you can hook your Xbox One controller up and use that. But I was telling a friend just recently, I think that defeats the purpose of gaming PC. If anything, I'm going to get a controller that was made for the PC or something like that, or I'm going to use the keyboard because I want to get the feel, the whole entire feel of gaming on the PC. So I did at one point try to try with the controller, and, I mean, it was okay. It, it, to me, it just at that point, it felt like I was playing Xbox. So for all that, I must play Xbox. You know, so I want to get used to playing using the keyboard and the whole, <coughs> excuse me, gaming experience with using the keyboard and the mouse. So that's what I'm focused on and learning learning how to do that. Um, a part of me, in a sense, was kind of hesitant to play on the PC because one, you don't have to pay a yearly membership cost like you have to do with Nintendo. PlayStation and um, Xbox uh, It's free to play online You know a lot of games are cheap There are a lot of free free to play games as well That I noticed on the Steam account So that's something to keep in mind But um, I'm still able to try to I find my way to try to spread time Amongst everything And I haven't put in a lot of time on PC I've been looking for A PC based game That I basically want to start out on That's not available on consoles So you know I just want something exclusive for the PC one game I was looking at was Planet Side Arena. Now, this game was supposed to come out this past Tuesday, January 29th. And, you know, I start this Steam account and I'm online. I bring it up because, you know, on Steam you can make a uh, wish list where basically if you pay for it, you can download it. The game's 20 bucks, and I think you get like a bundle with different um, add-ons and stuff like that and perks. And it'd be $39.99. So I'm excited about this game. I'm looking at the trailer. I'm like, okay, this seems pretty cool. It's basically 
a battle royale arena style uh, game and each month they're gonna drop new uh, um, basically like map packs and stuff like that and um, add those in create different gameplay with uh, capture the flag uh, I think hard point team deathmatch stuff like that but I log on the Steam account uh, Sunday night and apparently they pushed this game back to March I believe and I was like what so finally I, 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 I get locked and loaded on this game I want to try you know exclusive to the PC and they pushed it back now the beta is still coming out some point in February um, which is in January but some some point soon next couple weeks they're gonna have the beta so maybe I'll get that a shot so uh, needless to say I was pretty disappointed uh, so I just basically I gotta wait that out or try to find something else. I mean, in the meantime, I got H one Z one, but it doesn't seem like it's a lot of people playing online. I think it was a max. The most I seen online was like eleven. So, you know, but all in all, I think it was a good steal uh, as far as the price I paid for my PC. I got on sale. I think for twelve fifty. I don't know if they offer that, but I know they do price match. So keep it in mind. Um, if you guys game on the PC, let me know. The experience as far as um, gaming with your friends, how that works, chat and stuff like that, because I'm I'm complete noob when it comes to that. And if you do have any type of gaming PC or a laptop, leave us a uh, comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys are playing and what you think, what you got um, as far as your build and your computer and your laptop. And you know maybe we can discuss it on a later episode. Uh, so that's it for this episode. This has been the Video Game Voter. It's your boy, P-City Substance. Game on.